The president of the Ghana Journalists Association, Afil Money, has attributed Ghana's drastic fall on the World Press Freedom Index from 30th to 60th position to the incessant attacks on journalists in the country. Speaking at an event to mark World Press Freedom Day, he insists it is high time perpetrators of such violence are made to face the full rigors of the law. Reported cases, torture and abuse of the rights of journalists in Ghana has increased significantly in the past decade. The death of Ahmed Swale in the discharge of his duties, the arrest and torture of CTFM's Caleb Kuda, journalists covering the effectiveness of anti- COVID-19 measures attacked by security forces online and political threats on journalists during the 2020 election period are notable among the few cases of attacks on journalists that have gone unpunished. President of the Ghana Journalists Association, Afelmoni, believes the lack of prosecution against perpetrators has worsened the situation. So the media serve as an oxygen for democracy. So if, if our democracy is not in tatters, even though our ranking uh, uh, gives us huge cause for concern, it means there's a glimmer of hope that if we do things right, if our law and other community will apply the law, regardless of who the perpetrators are. There have been endless calls on government to ensure the safety of journalists in the discharge of their duties. But Deputy Minister for Information, Fatima Abubakar, believes passage of the broadcasting bill will address such issues. Acts of some overzealous policemen in handling some cases of journalists suspected to be involved in crimes are not the doing of government. Government, however, acknowledging that these events negatively affect Ghana's ranking, has instituted the Coordinated Mechanism for the Safety of Journalists, run by the National Media Commission, so that some of these issues can be addressed. Government is putting in the necessary steps, including taking input from technocrats and industry experts to facilitate the passage of the broadcasting bill. Chairman of the National Media Commission, Yao Buedu Ayabuafo, while pleading with Ghanaians not to use force in matters of free speech, admonished media practitioners to exhibit professionalism at all times. Any one of us can say whatever that we want to say, and nobody should prevent us from doing that. But after we have said what we want to say, if it offends the sensitivities and sensibilities of other people, we must pay compensation. Because our rights is no more important than the rights of anybody. Ghana placed 60th in the 2022 ranking after placing 30th last year. The report put together by Reporters Without Borders noted the safety of Ghanaian journalists has deteriorated. Ghana's ranking on the World Press Freedom Index is the country's lowest in the past 17 years. It placed 66th in 2005.